everyone, it's Doug McGuff with Ultimate Exercise, Body by Science and DrMcGuff.com. In this installment, I want to read to you the abstract of an article um, that I got off of Mark Sisson's website um, from what he read, uh, his what, what I read this week um, column. So hat tip to Mark Sisson and his team for uncovering this gym. Um, but this article points out to me again what I've expressed to you um, and that is that context is important when you're in evaluating any component of health or metabolism. So um, first off, reading glasses, this is out of um, Cancer Research, volume 82, issue number 22, November 15th of 2022, so fairly hot off the presses, and I'm just going to read the abstract to you now. And the title of it is An Exercise-Induced Metabolic Shield in Distant Organs Blocks Cancer Progression and Metastatic Dissemination. The abstract reads, Exercise prevents cancer incidence and recurrence, yet the underlying mechanism behind this relationship remains mostly unknown. Here, we report that exercise induces the metabolic reprogramming of internal organs that increases nutrient demand and protects against metastatic colonization by limiting nutrient availability to the tumor, generating an exercise-induced metabolic shield. Proteomic and ex vivo metabolic capacity analysis of murine internal organs revealed that exercise induces catabolic processes, glucose uptake, mitochondrial activity, and GLUT, that is glucose transporter expression. Proteomic analysis of routinely active human subject plasma demonstrated increased carbohydrate utilization following exercise. Epidemiologic data from a 20-year perspective study of a large human cohort of initially cancer-free participants revealed that exercise prior to cancer initiation had a modest impact on cancer incidence in low metastatic stages, but significantly reduced the likelihood of highly metastatic cancer. In three models of melanoma in mice, exercise prior to cancer injection significantly protected against metastasis in distant organs. Now here's the part that's really interesting to me. The protective effects of exercise were dependent upon mTOR activity and inhibition of the mTOR pathway with rapamycin treatment ex vivo reversed the exercise-induced metabolic shield. Under limited glucose conditions, active stroma consumes significantly more glucose at the expense of the tumor. Collectively, these data suggest a clash between the metabolic plasticity of cancer and exercise-induced metabolic reprogramming of the stroma, raising an opportunity to block metastasis by challenging the metabolic needs of the tumor. So let's take a minute to soak that all in. First is we all have been bombarded um, in the media and the internet on how overactivation of mTOR accelerates aging. And as a consequence of that, people who I think have been overly simplistic in um, the meaning of this energy pathway have recommended against high protein diets because that stimulates mTOR and have regulated against resistance exercise or anything that builds muscle because that stimulates mTOR and therefore will accelerate aging. But that assumption um, ignores the context of how the mTOR was activated in the first place. And the two things to keep in mind are, are we talking about an acute increase or a chronic increase? And are we talking about the increase being stimulated from the demand side or the supply side. So I think where mTOR becomes unhealthy um, and its stimulation is unhealthy is when it is chronic in nature and it is coming from the supply side because of an overabundance of calories, too much food. I think where mTOR can be very beneficial is when its spikes are acute, secondary to an acute stressor and when its stimulation is coming from the demand side, like it is with exercise. So once again, context with regard to mTOR is very, very important. Also, context with 
medications or supplements that we might take in an attempt to prolong our life or improve our longevity have to also be taken in context. So there are plenty of people in the longevity space that are now taking rapamycin as a means of prolonging their lifespan um, and assumedly prolonging their health span. But what we're finding out here is that rapamycin doesn't have just one effect when it inhibits mTOR. Yes, it inhibits mTOR, but it inhibits mTOR fairly globally, including from the demand side that is acute in nature that has very beneficial effects. Now, when it comes to things that might shorten your longevity and things that kill you as you age, at the very top of that list, uh, just, just behind cardiovascular disease, is cancer. Because as we age, we become more dysregulated and we are all carrying cancer cells inside of our body. And it sounds like much of the way that that is held at bay um, is through depriving those nascent um, cancer cells of their energy. And the major way of doing that is through meaningful exercise that stimulates mTOR and creates a glucose sink that deprives the, these cancer cells of the energy that they need to metastasize. So once again, I just want people to start thinking more deeply because all of these um, biological process and feedback loops that occur within the body are extraordinarily complex and it is the height of conceit to think that you can control it and manipulate it necessarily. Um, this is also true in the realm of performance enhancing drugs. I always see people saying, yeah, if you're going to use them, that's great, but just, you know, get your blood work done and monitor things. I mean, to think that you can monitor simple blood markers that um, represent certain key steps in a very complex feedback loop and feel like you're in con and that you're in control of the situation and that you can do this in a way that's not going to adversely affect your health is just the height of conceit. These metabolic pathways are extremely complex um, and you can't oversimplify them. Um, so next time you hear someone tell you that uh, you shouldn't be you know, eating a gram per pound body weight of protein or you shouldn't be working out in the gym because that stimulates mTOR and it's gonna shorten your lifespan, bring this article up to them because everything has a context. And if you're not viewing things in the correct context, you're gonna do things for your health that you think are helpful that aren't necessarily so. So once again, there is the article if you want to look it up for yourself. So once again, let's keep everything in, comp in uh, appropriate context and realize things are a little bit more complicated um, than we realize they are and we're not as good as we think we are. So until the next time, this is Doug McGuff for Ultimate Exercise, Body by Science, DrMcGuff.com. Now go out and do some dope shit in the real world.